Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm sharing a flip through of the two journals that I made live on Monday, September the 23rd. Because it was the first day of autumn or fall, I thought it would be good to make a fall themed or autumn themed journal. And I ended up putting enough supplies and pulling things from my stash that I could make two journals. The first journal that I'm going to show to you was one by Carrie Barbara. During my live streams, I have a drawing at the end for the journals for those who do make donations. And she won this journal. It is using the Simply Autumn digital download kit from Calico Collage. And occasionally you will also see in this particular journal some elements from the Autumn Breeze as well as a couple of add-on items that Norella offers. So the inside cover is more of the Simply Autumn pages. Here I've made a journal page using a mop-up when I sprayed with Tattered Angels through the oak leaves stencil. This is one of the elements from the kits. This is a rubber stamp and I stamped it in black in the background and then it was stamped again and fussy cut out prior to the video with a little bit of the Distress Oxide inks and used Distress inks around there. It's another stamp that is from Beeline Designs as well. Here I used the journal line stencil on the back side and I used a blending brush with Distress ink in order to get the lines. This is another Beeline Designs rubber stamp. Scrapbook paper is great in journals. Get out those 12 by 12 papers, trim it just a little bit, fold it, and you can make a journal page with a pocket in it. This is a, one of the other little uh, harvest all fall don't... Bleh, uh, I can't get it. Harvest, fall, autumn type little leaf images from Calico Collage. It's this add-on thing that I picked up. They're one inch squares. This is Simply Autumn again. Simply Autumn again. Here's a couple of the elements from Simply Autumn and this is from the add-on for the uh, Autumn Breeze. I'm trying to make sure I get all those. This is a mixed media page that I made into a pocket. And this is a coffee dyed piece of paper a ledger paper that was given to me by Tammy of My World in OKC and I've used the stencil from the maple leaf stencil with some Distress Oxide and a blending brush and some washi tape here. Another scrapbook page with a little tuck spot. This one was made by stamping all over it and then spraying with Tattered Angels. It, it didn't turn out exactly the way I thought it should, but it was interesting, so I'm going to put it in the journal anyway. Another one of the Simply Autumn. Another scrapbook page. This was a page that I made by mopping up. So I sprayed Tattered Angels through the stencil, and then I laid a piece of paper on top, and this was the image that came, and I cut it down to make a 5x7 journal card. You can see where I've stamped leaves around the edge. I used the Retro Panel 2 stencil with Distress Inks. Here is another card that I made. I sprayed through the stencil with different colors of Tattered Angels. Do check out the live stream, even though it is a about two hour, two hour and a half hours video, you can change the speed of that and watch it in faster mode. Another one of the images from the kit. This is from the Seabreeze kit. This was a mixed media pocket that I made. So I made some mixed media pages in one of my mixed media Thursdays and I cut it in half and then I folded it back so it would have a nice corner on there and then glued that down more washi tape and some more of those little smaller images again from the sea breeze or uh, autumn breeze i don't know why i'm I got sea breeze on the brain another journal card there i'm pretty happy with this journal the way that it turned out it was kind of fun to create and i'm pretty sure that carrie barbara will love it and i hope that she will enjoy it once it gets to her hands Another journal card there. This one I stamped and then I just kind of loosely watercolored on top with some Tattered Angels. Another image from the kit. 
it was fun to make these journals and I hope that you like this. And this was, I forget to do this, but one of the gals in the chat said, I usually put on a vertical band, a drop of glue in the middle so I can put two smaller cards in there. So I didn't have a large card, but I thought the smaller cards worked really well there. And then that's the last. So then this is using, let me put my note back in so I know who the journal goes to. And this was using the Autumn Breeze journal kit and it's going to Polly. She won this journal and I used just one of the journal pages for the cover and printed it on linen cardstock. And I just love these images that are in that kit. I thought they blended really well with the Simply Autumn kit. And that's what this is from, the Simply Autumn. Again, rubber stamped in black ink. This is done with distressed ink, fussy cut out. And that's my maple leaf stencil design. Journal line stencil again. I kind of repeated some of this so that you can see that even though I swapped out some of the images, the journals are relatively similar, but also different because you get a different look when you change it up just a little bit. Kind of fun to be able to mix it up just a little bit. I think I've left enough room for the ladies that are getting these journals to alter them. Here's where I sprayed through the stencil and then I had a scrap of paper so I just put it down the side and then this was a little maple leaf uh, design and I just thought it's just so colorful to be able to add that. Another one of my mixed media pockets there. And here I tore the page and then I put where I tore, if you kind of look there, behind there and made that into a pocket. Oh, and I forgot to show this in the other journal, but I did add some little uh, squares to the strings in the center. And here's another little journal card that I made to go in the pocket there. On this side, because the journal page was this beautiful big leaf on it, I decided just to cut it in half and paste it on top of a dictionary page, and then I made another journal card to go inside. Repeating that same strip of fabric or paper, and then some more stenciled through the uh, maple leaves. I had a boo-boo. I had something that smudged because of my finger, so I just glued a random little piece on there. So, you know, don't worry about making mistakes. Just glue another piece of paper down if you need to. Well, I hope you like seeing a flip through of the journals that I made. I hope that you can attend the next live stream. I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And on Mondays, I do journals. On Thursdays, we do mixed media. So it's kind of different in the week. And then in between, I'll usually have th flip through videos or other little tutorials that I will share ch on my channel. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And of course, share it with your friends so that they can see some cool things and be inspired to create. Do leave me a comment below. And if I didn't say this already, give me a thumbs up on this video. I thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe for and that way you'll get notifications the next time that I post. And do check out in the description box below the links to Calico Collage, to their kits that she has, as well as the rubber stamps and other things that I use to create these journals. And then check out my Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. It is the largest Facebook group for junk journal people. And we just are really friendly and we have a really good time. And it's a great place to hang out and share your makes. And of course, once a day, you can even promote yourself if you want to share a video or maybe you have something for sale. You're allowed to do that in my group. Do check out By Linda Israel as well on my Facebook page and follow me. Do check out my blog too. So I have lots of uh, close-up photos that are there and a little bit more detail information that's available. All right, everybody, I've rambled on enough. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye, everybody.